WooCommerce is probably one of the most common platforms for selling products online. But what if you want to sell something like a service? Can you do that with WooCommerce? Well, yes, you can. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate just how easy it is to do that. My name is Paul C and this is WP Tuts, the channel where I help you create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon below to be notified every time new content is added to the channel. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use my demonstration site where you can buy suits and we're going to add a new section in there that allows people to purchase a fitting service. So when they order their suit, they can also order a fitting. So how do we do that? Well, let's just jump over to the dashboard. First thing we're going to do is come into the product section and categories and inside there we're going to create a new category which we're going to call fitting service. So we'll click on add new category. That's now added that category and we're now ready to go and create the product itself. So let's come in and click on add new. First thing we're going to do is we're going to call this fitting. We're going to specify this is in the fitting services category. Once we've done that, we're going to drop in some text that details the service itself. For this example, we'll just use some simple filler text. So we've got some content in there. We we'll scroll down and we've got the product data itself. Now, this is the important part of it. You can see we've got product data and we've got simple product. There are other options available, but we're going to keep this as a simple product because it only needs some really basic information associated with it. The most important aspect is the virtual checkbox, because once you click on virtual, it tells it as a product that is not available to be delivered or shipped. So it becomes a virtual product, something that doesn't physically exist. You'll see if we take a look at the tab, you can see we've got inventory, shipping, and so on. Once we choose virtual, you'll see that the shipping option disappears because you can't ship something that's virtual. Once we've done that, we can then go through the process of assigning any information we need to it. So, for example, we can say the, the service is £49, dollars, whatever currency you're working in. Inventory, we're going to leave that as is. Obviously, if you wanted to have some linked products so you can do upsells or cross-sells, you could do that. You can add that in there. We're not going to assign any attributes or any advanced sort of information to it because it's not currently needed. We'll disable the enable reviews on there and we'll leave everything as it is. We'll put a very brief description in of the actual service itself for the product short description. And finally, we'll come to the set the product image and we'll choose an image that actually suits the service itself. So what we've done now is we've created a virtual product which allows us to sell this and it can be a service or anything that doesn't need to be shipped. So if you do classes or courses, you could sell those via this method. So we'll hit publish. Once we've done that, we'll take a look at the actual product itself. So if we open this up in a new tab and there's our new product added. You can see it's our fitting service. If we added this to the basket and we go through the checkout process, because it's virtual, you'll see there's no actual shipping charge applied. So let's just jump into our basket itself. We can see there's our product, basket total, no shipping options associated with this because it is a virtual product. And that's all there really is to creating a service or a product that you don't need to ship out as part of WooCommerce. So like I say, you can use this for services, you could use this for courses, classes, anything at all that doesn't need to be shipped or downloaded. And that's it, a super easy way of doing it. No difficulties, no extra plugins or anything required. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But let me know why you didn't enjoy it in the comment section below. As always, if you've got any comments, questions or feedback on this, please pop those in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.